All right, guys, this is the final video of the course. Now, up to this point, I've showed you all the building blocks. I mean, all the things you need to really put the time and effort into building an amazing website that converts. Again, I want to dig this in as much as I can. The best things that you can produce in your agency that actually produce results, first of all, they're really simple. They're not complicated. But they're the ones that you actually take the time and put the effort and the research into and back, you know, it's actually proven things that work and you're not half fasting anything. So just take your time. If you need to rewatch anything, I recommend you do that because if you put a lot of upfront time into building your website, then you don't have to do it later, right? It's sort of, your website's sort of evergreen to a certain extent. So if you put all the work into it to make it work right off the bat, and it does, that'll last for a while. And so it's so much worth doing that, you know, learning your dream buyer, coming up with irresistible offers. It might take you a week, it might take you two, it might take you three. But when you hit the point of having something that's actually valuable and irresistible to your client and to attract your clients, that's what you want to achieve. So go back and rewatch anything you need to do. But in this video, we're going to go over one more piece of ammunition I have to share with you. And that is a high value content offer. Okay. If you don't know what that is, in the simplest way to explain this is you're basically offering something of value, high value for free in return of the prospect or person on your website to get in exchange for them giving you their contact info or inquiry or quiz form fill or whatever it is. So Jim, for free, I'm going to give you how to get a six, pa a guy that says how to get a six pack in 30 days without doing a single sit up. I'll give that to you for free. And all I want is your email. Is this something that you're interested in? Right? And they go, yeah, it is. Oh, great. Take it. I'll take your email. Perfect. The value is higher than what you're asking for. High value content offer. Typically gets free. High value content offers, by the way, I have a list here. It's like unlimited. It can be anything. It could be a free consultation. It could be custom pricing, like a quote, checklist, quizzes, videos, how-to guides, PDF downloads, email course, tickets, list goes on. So I'm going to go over just building blocks of a high value content offer, which is something you can add into your website, right? So when you get the call to action part of your website, you can have this as a very low entry, re low resistant entry point into your business ecosystem. Whew. So the first thing you think about with a high, building a high value content offer is incorporating some of the rules we went about designing your website and implementing those into your high value content offer. These are kind of fundamental things you can apply to different stuff because you're taking someone from who are you to I want to work with you. And that process is very similar regardless of whatever offer you're giving to people. So the first step is this. You need to create an attention grabbing headline. That's sort of the first step of everything you're trying to offer. No one is going to want to download something that says, get a free guide. And they're like, what, what is the free guide about? It just says, get a free guide. And you're like, well, okay. But if you give a compelling headline of how to get a six pack in 30 days without doing a single sit up, that is, I want to know that. And I'm willing to give my email up for that. No question. That's what you want. Come up with a great compelling attention. Remember, grab them by the throat and demand their attention. Headline. Number two is you need to make sure every point point in that touches a burning issue with them. Just like on the website where it's you are sort of adding benefits, features. It's sort of a sales rep. And one of the things in sales is you you highlight on the prospect's pain points so that they are aware of their challenges. And then when you offer them a solution, they can connect the dots and they understand why they need this and why they want it. So you need to make sure this high value content offer is touching on burning issues for these clients, prospects. Number three is you need to keep it simple. It's very easy to overcomplicate things, put too much information. Now, if, and also if you are, if you're a marketer and like, I'm kind of a nerdy marketer, so I can get really into details and strategy and that sort of thing or concepts. But I know that the general business owner, it's going to go way over their head because they're an expert at plumbing. They're an expert at solar. So they could get nerdy on my end and 
I could be totally lost what they're talking about. So it's like vice versa. But if I keep it simple in terms that I know majority of business owners will understand what I'm saying, you want that. You don't want to lose people in translation. So just keep it simple. It's really easy to overcomplicate things. Those are the three building blocks that primarily consist of a high value content offer. Just like your website, at the end of your high value content offer, you want to have a call to action. Okay. It it's also like another way to get them to take action and become you know, schedule an appointment or whatever. So if your website has an offer of schedule a free consultation, here's credible um more, you know, more information, supporting content, you know, and then throughout the site it's saying schedule a consultation. If they don't do that, maybe you hit them with a high value content offer. Look, you don't want a consultation. I get it. What about how, you know, this high value content offer, how to get a six pack in 30 days without a single push up. And all you have to do is less than a scheduled call. Just put your email in and they go, I'm willing to do that. So you get them at a lower resistant entry point. They go through the high value content offer in a format where it still sort of pitches them just like your website does. Highlights their pain points. It's simple. They understand it. Then at the end, since you have supporting content in there, you kind of see where this is going. Now you reestablish a call to action. Hey, are you ready to schedule a free consultation now? Because we warmed you up even further. So you can see how valuable this is. You can offer an, you can have an offer on your website. If they don't take that action, you can have a high value content offer as well. Two entry points. They've downloaded the entry, the the HVCO. They are you're showing more value and credibility. At the end, you're calling another call to action. Are you ready to schedule a call now? Right? And they go, I am. Great. More likely, they're going to schedule a call at that point. So I hope you found this mini series valuable. Um, I hope you, you know, it's not too confusing. Again, always, I recommend always go back, take notes, rewatch things, pause the videos. Uh, I want to make sure you really understand this and take your time developing it. If you have fasted, you will not get results. If you take your time and get really familiar and specific and clear on your goals and the call to actions you want these people to take, your sales structure, um, you know, coming up with godfather offers, irresistible copy, compelling uh, headlines, that is how you get a high converting website. So as always, Congratulations, you finished another mini course. I'm super excited that you have all the information you need to create a high converting website. And I will see you guys in the next course.